I'm Dr. Haley Graham, and in this video, we continue our discussion about the artificial pancreas and automated insulin delivery systems. We are talking with the Simon family about their daughter, Leslie, and their search for strategies to improve control as Leslie's honeymoon period ends. A functioning pancreas produces hormones responsible for keeping your blood glucose levels within a fairly tight range. Two of the main hormones are insulin, which lowers blood sugar levels, and glucagon, which increases blood sugars if they become too low. A functioning pancreas can automatically start to make more insulin after you eat when it senses your sugar levels are rising. It can also decrease or stop insulin delivery when it senses your sugar levels are falling. In cases of hypoglycemia, Leslie's pancreas does not produce enough glucagon. For this reason, she carries a medicinal form with her in case of hypoglycemic emergencies. Let's talk more about the process of automated insulin delivery. Continuous glucose monitors, or CGMs, like Leslie's, are able to check her glucose levels every few minutes. An insulin pump, which would replace the insulin pens Leslie uses now, give you a slow, steady infusion of fast-acting insulin through a small infusion site just under the skin. As long as there have been insulin pumps and CGMs, people have been trying to get the CGM to tell the pump if a person with diabetes sugar levels are rising or falling. When your sugar levels are rising above a target range, the pump might start giving you more insulin automatically. And when your sugar levels are falling, it might decrease your insulin delivery automatically. Hence the term automated insulin delivery. Technically, an artificial pancreas would be able to do more than adjust your insulin automatically based on your blood sugar. A true artificial pancreas would give you the right amount of glucagon when your blood sugar drops and give you the right amount of insulin following a meal. A true artificial pancreas would recognize when you're going to eat and react to it quickly and accurately, so you never have a high blood sugar. But today's devices aren't quite there yet. So the preferred term to artificial pancreas is automated insulin delivery device. If you want to get even more technical, we could call them hybrid closed loop devices. A hybrid closed loop device is a combination of an insulin pump and a CGM. It's designed such that the two devices can communicate with each other and automate the rate of delivery of insulin. Because it does this based on a computer algorithm so that you do not need to approve every minute to minute change that it makes. It is thought of as a closed loop because it has taken the human factor largely out of the decision-making loop. Some user interaction is necessary though, both to dose at mealtimes and to evaluate any situation in which blood sugar levels are far out of range for extended periods. Thus, these devices are thought of as hybrid closed loops as opposed to fully closed loops. In our next video, we will discuss the two hybrid closed-loop systems that are FDA-approved today, Medtronic's 670G and Tandem's T-Slim Pump with their Control IQ algorithm, which includes its X2 pump and Dexcom's G6 sensor.